A lot of times we want to create a digital image file of our CAD files that other people can use. They can view them, they can print them, they're easily sent via email or some other file transfer protocol or Dropbox or something. And a lot of times too, you need to create a PDF or a DWF from your files because other people just can't use AutoCAD or you want them to be able to view the drawings electronically on something like a tablet, like an iPad or an Android device. That's fantastic because you can do that very easily with the Sheet Set Manager. Built into the Sheet Set Manager is the ability to print to DWF or PDF. Now if you come up here to this top bar and you have your Publish button right here, I can click it and I can publish to DWF, DWFX, or PDF right away. So if I click Publish to PDF, all I need to do is tell AutoCAD where to save the file. So I'm going to save this on my C drive, under my sheet sets, project files, we're in 01 here, and I'm just going to call it manufacturing sheet set PDF and hit select. AutoCAD's going to do this in the background because that's the way I have it set up by default. But essentially what it's doing is opening up each one of those sheet set files one at a time and then making a PDF, closing it, opening up the second file, creating a PDF, and then closing it etc. So it's going to keep doing that. And you can see right here that this publish job is in progress. It's doing that in the background. Now that allows me to keep working. So I can open up another file or something else or continue working in the file that I'm in right now. And you can do that the exact same way through PDF, DWF, or to the plotter that's already set up in that AutoCAD file, meaning it has a page set up already created in each of those files and that's what it's going to print to. So you can just tell it to do that automatically without any effort. Say, hey, print. And that's what you're going to do. It's that easy and you just do it already. You don't have to worry about it or think about it. It takes away the effort from printing. Now one thing though I want to caution about using this method, printing to the default DWF, PDF, or plotter method, is that you're not under control of exactly what you're going to get. It's going to use some default settings for the PDF, the DWF printers, and you can't really change those. So unless you've done it before with those files and you know it's going to look okay, you may want to think twice about it. So speed and lack of effort, lack of involvement in the process means you could lose some quality. So just be careful with it. I'm not saying it's going to mess up all the time, but I've found that a lot of times it does. So just take that easy and take what it's worth, but it is so quick and easy. It was just a couple of clicks and I'm still working. So now my file is finished. It tells me right there, I can browse to it. It's right here and this is my PDF. I'm gonna open it up in my PDF viewer and we're going to see what we got. So here's my first sheet and you can see right here, it has all 15 sheets in it, which is good and I can just toggle through my list of drawings. This sheet two, sheet three, and I have my previews. So as you can see here, it seems to really have printed out everything perfectly fine. So next time that I need to print this to PDF, now I know. And now I can take this file and I can email it to a client, or I can have someone else print it out from this PDF, or I have this for an archive, whatever the case may be. Creating the DWF or a DWFX file works exactly the same way. Sending it to the default plotter that's in that AutoCAD file works the same way too, only just puts it to hard copy instead of in a digital file like a PDF. And be careful though when you send it to a plotter because if the drafter or designer, whoever made that CAD file, didn't set up a default plotter or a page setup, it won't print. So you could be losing some sheets and you're going to have to go through that hassle. So be careful with that. But otherwise, this is a quick and easy way to get your drawings reproduced very quickly so that you can use them in the real world.